guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a review video for those of you that are new to my channel hello i am Catherine. i own two e-commerce stores and etsy businesses i have my own website for catnip and baby blue i have etsy stores with these websites too and in this video i'm going to be reviewing the brother ql 700 shipping label printer or just label printer in general but that's what I'm going to be using it for. This video is not sponsored at all, this came out of my own pocket because I really really needed a new shipping label. For those of you that have been following me for a while, hi guys, I love you by the way, um, you will know that Emily, my sister now works with me uh, on the business and she is in charge of all shipping and stuff, I jump on shipping as well and we need a new system of doing things because what I used to do is I use a mono laser printer that was super super cheap from Samsung I think it was something like £45 online on Amazon and I have these labels that are pre-scored labels that I ordered off eBay and I downloaded a template online and created my own shipping labels which meant I had to open Photoshop every time I wanted to print shipping labels out and I had my logo on there and things like that and it was getting to be a bit of a pain the way we were working things were trying to adjust as my orders are building up over time I'm slowly getting busier and busier as the month goes on. Thank you very much for that, by the way. Um, so we needed a new efficient way because what I was doing was printing on these labels and sometimes there would be labels spare. So then I'd have to load the paper with that label so I didn't waste money. And it's now not an efficient way to do things. It was really good when I first started out because it meant very little cost. I already had a printer and I used to do it on my inkjet. The problem with inkjets are that you have to be careful during rainy weather because it might smudge when the postman's trying to deliver your items so be careful with that but I had an inkjet and I didn't have the funds to purchase fancy shipping printers or anything like that so I used to just use my inkjet and I purchased a small pack of shipping labels but now I decided to invest in a proper shipping label printer this was relatively cheap I got it off Amazon for around about £45 I think it was and it was in the sale I think it was about £60 or something now I'm not quite sure so I'm going to unbox this with you and I'm going to test it out while the studio is empty and while Emily has a day off um, and I'm going to see if it works the one thing I do like about it is it looks like it's going to be very small on my desk um, which is a plus because my laser printer takes up if you can see it's just there in between the Mac and the storage system it's quite chunky and substantial it's an A4 laser printer the good thing about this is Emily can now print the labels as she goes along we used to print out all the orders and it was just one big jumble mess and we used to if we packaged something find the label to peel it off the paper and honestly it was a mess it is a mess so we're trying to be more efficient so let's get into the unboxing this also doesn't require any ink cartridge replacements whereas obviously a laser printer does you have to fork out about 30 to 40 pound depending on the toners you have um, for laser printer cartridges which can be quite costly but to be honest I've only replaced my cartridge on my printer in the three years in business once uh, because I use it on all the low toner settings so you don't have ink with this which is so baffling to me it's like I don't even know how it works to be honest with you um, some sort of heat transfer tape thing like I feel like it's like a typewriter you know when you used to stamp it in the typewriter but it uses heat I feel like it's a ribbon of some sort so I wonder if you have to replace this let me know in the comments if you if you know anything about these because th this is the first time I'm ever trying out this so let's get into the unboxing and see how easy this is to set up because it says no software installation needed let us up shall we okay so it came in this nice box which is nicely packaged first thing i see is instruction manuals and there seems to be a disc inside here now my new mac doesn't have a disc tray so that's not useful then we've got these things then we have the rolls i think these do not look like very 
much really so i think you can order these online i think they're fairly cheap on amazon uh, you don't have to get the brother make you can buy compatible ones but hmm and it also comes with with uh, a thinner one as well which says standard address but personally i think i would like to use the thicker ones and i'm assuming these aren't full uh because the ones online look a lot thicker than this to be honest but these probably are just fatter pack ones yeah that's a thinner one fatter thinner the one thing i am going to look for here is if i can add my logo to them because i have two businesses i like to add my logo on the front underneath the address so hopefully we can oh it's very light and small i like that is there anything else in the box no it is nice and compact Ooh. and this is my favorite bit ripping all this off oh so satisfying Yeah, baby. It's, it's super, super tiny, which is going to save a lot of desk space. Let me show you in comparison to my shipping label printer, shall we? So, as you can see, this is considerably smaller than my mono laser printer. That mono laser printer to be fair to it is quite a small compact printer anyway so but that is even smaller which is even better because it means i'll get more desk space for packaging which is really really good i like that now let's uh, open it up and plug it in i'm assuming that the labels go in here it has a description on it and i think ah well that's really easy and then do I feed this into here? I think I do. Okay, so I've just fed it into there. That was really, really easy. It literally just slotted straight in there. As you can see, I literally just slided it straight in and I just fed manually this through here. I don't actually know if you meant to feed this in yet, but that seems pretty simple. Uh, now let's plug it in. This small one I don't want to use. So let's plug these in shall we i'm gonna be setting this up on emily's mac which is quite slow because it's a very old mac but hopefully it works okay okay so i've very quickly plugged it in i haven't sorted any of the cables out behind there so please excuse the mess and i'm gonna turn it on and see what happens so here we can see it plugged in straight away i just opened the finder down here and we can see it right here so let's click into this and see what pops up ah so start here this is pretty simple if you ask me hmm this is not optimized for this mac now this mac okay well this doesn't look good, does it? Macintosh is only compatible with the P-Touch editor. If you are in the editor light mode, the mode will switch automatically and P-Touch editor will start to run. Check that P-Touch editor and the printer driver installed and click OK. I'm just gonna click OK. I wonder if this is still gonna work. No. Hmm. Hmm. Aha. This has just popped up. Let's install this. And I think it's automatically doing it. This is a very old Mac to be fair. I've had this Mac for about nine years now. It installed, I'm assuming, nothing really popped up afterwards. So I'm going to reopen. It's not there. What's going on? This is not good news. Okay, so I've tried reinserting the USB lead and it's still not registering on this Mac. So I'm gonna restart this Mac and have a go on my newer Mac and see if it works fine on there. But if it doesn't work on this, I'm not gonna be very happy because this is for Emily and this is kind of her setup that she has for shipping. And she is in charge of the shipping and the label. So if it doesn't work on Emily's Mac, it's pretty much useless. Again, I can't find it plugged in anywhere. So I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Ha. I went over to printers and scanners and I found it here. So, but how do I use the software? Ah, I just double clicked on it. But, but, but where's the software for it? Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to ask Mr. Google. Okay, so considering this is meant to be a plug and print label maker, it is not quite plugging in and printing, but that might be because I'm using Macs, but a lot of people and a lot of designers use Macs, so I'm trying to find where the P label editor thing software for the labels is located because it said that it was installing on both Macs and then it's just disappeared. So, hmm, I wonder where it's gone. Okay, so I had to go on the website. I don't know if I've done something wrong, but I just couldn't find this P touch editor which allows you to print the labels. So I had to go on the site, download the driver for this P touch editor, then I had to put in the serial number on the back of the printer, which was really tedious and annoying because it didn't want the whole serial number, it just wanted nine digits. And now this is happening. So let's see if this actually works. <gasps> It looks like it is going to work and this label looks really small but I basically just went to download on um, Brother and I selected my Mac operating system when I clicked search this came up and I selected the editor tool because the driver for the actual printer worked fine it downloaded fine when I plugged it in straight away okay so here we go I basically created my shipping label so this is what it used to look like on the a4 sheet that i had and it was this border with my logo on and i saved this as a png and i added the image you can just go over here and click add image and then i added a text let's click print and see if it works shall we one copy okay oh well it flew on the floor Yay! It literally worked perfectly. So after the fanny on we had with the print label and stuff, it is now finally working well. And that printed out super fast and it cuts it to size. So whenever we need to ship labels now, it's going to be super, super fast. Uh, now what I think I should do is um, I need to design the baby blue ones, which is basically just my baby blue logo on here. And I need to put this into the old Mac and download the drivers and hope it works there too because you guys might have an older Mac and I want to show you if it works or not. So yeah, let's see how sticky this is, shall we? I've got quite long nails at the minute. And it just peels off like this. Nice and sticky, I think. Yay! It's nice quality too. The print quality is nice, nice and clear. It's printed out really fast and it's a really nice size. I like this size for address labels. You could have it smaller if you wanted, but this is a perfect size for me. This is similar to the labels that I used to have, so I'm happy with this. Woohoo! And I like how fast it is and I like how silky this paper is too. Okay, so we're all done and it is working perfectly. I went on the site and followed the steps I did for the last one and I've edited my new labels ready for this computer so Emily can get to work on the labels. And I'm really, really happy with it actually. I love it, yay! So, my conclusion for this printer is, number one, why have I waited this long to get a label shipping printer? I actually don't know why it took me so long because this is super cheap. Like, this was the same price as my laser printer. So I don't know why I didn't do research at the time to get it. I think online it is around about 40 to 60 pounds. I paid a little bit less because it was on sale on Amazon, so keep an eye out for the sales and stuff, keep an eye out for cash back offers and all that good stuff uh, and my initial thoughts are it isn't a plug and print printer like it says it is I don't know if I did something wrong but if a plug and print printer says it's a plug and print printer I don't expect to have to go on the website and download the driver for the editing software but it might be because of my Mac but I tried it on both Macs and both Macs had the issue so that was a bit tedious and a little bit annoying it's actually took me an hour to fully set up on both computers uh, but I did go on the brother driver so if you have the problem if you buy this printer um, and you've got a Mac you may need to go on the brother website download the P editor the actual driver for the printer itself installed straight away as soon as I plugged it in but it was the editor program that I couldn't seem to find on my Mac after the initial setup obviously that was a bit tedious but now it's done I love the way you can add images 
to the shipping labels I think I really want to do an illustration a black and white illustration of catnip for my illustration business which would be really fun I love the way you can totally customize the label and you, it's this case of simply dragging and drop the image that you saved and another thing I like is I stuck the labels to like a piece of paper or an envelope and I tried to rip it off and the paper was super sticky so that's really really handy for address labels obviously it's designed for that so it's very much more durable the editor program um, um, it's really really simple to use you basically add your text box it's like using really really simple software and another bonus that I really really like is how quick it prints like I can't actually believe how quick it prints because using my old mono laser which is now not there and as you can see I've got a little bit more desk space um, my mono laser used to have to warm up the toner so it used to kind of make this noise and then print it out so yeah i'm really really happy with it so yay thumbs up so i hope you like this review and unboxing video um i'm very happy with the purchase for the price it's brilliant and it's gonna speed up how i do things so much more quickly than how i did it before i don't know why i haven't purchased a label printer running an e-commerce business sooner but hey ho we live and learn that's what business is about you grow and you learn so yeah i would recommend this as a really good cheap first label printer if you're just getting started though and you have a printer already buy some a4 sheets of paper and just do what i did download a template online for that label print, uh, paper and print it out yourself at home uh, that's what i did for three years but i'm really happy with this i'm so excited to use it and i will see you in the next video i hope you found it helpful i love you so so much thank you for watching as always i love you all right i love you bye